Hello, folks. Yep, my 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 little fella is brazen cane, but I'm gonna try to get through this busy video anyway. As soon as I start talking, he starts carrying on. I want to show you the carrots I just pulled up, showing Teresa and Lee what's growing. Uh, that carrot looks crazy, don't it? But they were over here, and these are the stuff I planted the other day. Everything's up, and these beans, I can't remember what kind of beans I planted, but I don't care. Beans are beans. Whenever they give me beans, I put them in the house. Um, this is the cosmos, I think, that's still there. And uh, I pulled up a lot of the uh, Malabar spinach. This is another carrot. I could pull it up, but I'm not going to. I'm not ready for it. In fact, I didn't even need those. Now I have to figure out something to do with them because they will go bad. I think that these are Malabar spinaches too, but I'm not sure. I'll know later on. I think that's weed, so I'm pulling it before it takes the nutrients. I think these are weeds too, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to wait on those. But, uh, yeah, this is a weed. And that is my first uh, lemon basil. Mm, I love smelling that. This is my thyme. This is the old spent. Uh, that's what was the original, um, the original um, ginger. So I'm just letting it compost down in there. And this is... Uh, Parsley, I believe. Yeah, I think that's parsley. Another weed. If it's not a weed, oh well, it's gone. I don't know what it is. So, that's what's going on in those beds. Oh, and I took off some leaves of this uh, tomato plant here. And... These are the ones that are coming up too. This is um, bunching onions and lettuce and beets. I believe that's beets. I want to say this is beets too. I need to separate them out. They're too close together. But some of this is not doing that great. And these little orange things are radishes I believe and got some carrots in here now I still have some roots from the ginger I don't know if that will pull up another ginger plant or not so I'm gonna let it go and see what it does and uh, this is another bed that I thinned out that lettuce is looking really good. I think that's arugula, but I'm not sure. But it'll taste really good in a salad in a few days. I'll pull that whenever I'm ready to eat it. I, I don't pull it until I'm ready to eat it because it'll go to waste. And uh, got some more beans. I got some, uh, I can't remember. I'm hoping that this is the black bean that, uh, well, that one's kind of dead. I'm hoping this is the black bean that, um, uh, Glenn gave me. I haven't had any of those come up yet. And I planted some. I should say, I haven't had any of those, uh, where I opened up the, oh, this one may be. That or it, it. That or it's the Christmas lima that Fran sent me. I don't know. But it's a dud. So that's what it is just a dud but I'm going to put it over here and let it dry out and then I'll 
push it down in the ground if squirrels don't get it. Um, these came up, and I, for the life of me, I don't remember which. I, I want to say I put Christmas lima beans there, but I'm not positive. And see the animals digging here? That makes me mad. But I can't do nothing about it. That's the squirrels. Constant squirrels aggravating me. Digging in my stuff. And then they plant these doggone things too. I think they plant the um, palm tree seeds in here. Because that's the only way I can figure out they get in there. That, that bean don't look so great, does it? Oh, well. Anyways. Some things are living and some things ain't. These bok choys are looking pretty good. They're kind of changing the color. I don't know if it's because they're in straight uh, sun or not. These are two of the limas that I meant to plant. Plant these in here so that I can run them on this little water thing. That never did work out very good, the water. And that is a collard green the chicken's been after. Yeah, the chickens was in here. I showed you the egg. And they started eating on my um, Mustard. This is the this is the best mustard I've ever tasted. This is mustard green. Um, I hope I have more of those seeds. But I don't know. And I've got a stray bean down here. I need to move that over. I think I'll move it over to here. But yep. I've got a lot of work to do out here, and I've been running, 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 running. Just seems like they constantly have me running somewhere or something. So, uh, the garden just doesn't look very good at all right now. I'm just not very happy at all with it. And the dog keeps getting in here, and the chickens keep getting in here, and everything's getting tore up and dug up, and it's making me furious. But other than coming out and making her walk around and do her business and then bringing her right back in, I am kind of having trouble keeping her out of here. I think I am going to have mustard greens tomorrow because that is also a very delicious mustard green right there. And I don't want the chickens to eat it. See how they've eaten all of the Brussels sprouts that I uh, planted? I guess I must have missed one planting. And that one's knocked over. So I will put that one right there and fix this one. Dang chickens. This was last year's uh, eggplant, and I don't know why it never did much of nothing. And these are dead, so I'm going to pull these up. But yeah, just little, little things. Those are, those were uh, um, basil. And this one is coming back to life. So I'm going to leave it there for a while. But these are basil too. Can't remember which one. Oh well. It'll be good, whatever it is. But this, look. See the little jerk right there on my thing? I just want to get a pellet gun and put it out of its misery. I hate squirrels.
if I could throw better. Well, that didn't work. I didn't, just like I said, I can't throw. I don't know what's happened to my throwing. I used to be really good at throwing, but I can't throw anymore. I'm too weak to do any of that stuff properly anymore. So he's probably after this egg. And I don't know where my girls laid the rest of their eggs today. I have to go on an Easter egg hunt again. I don't know why they're doing that again. Oh, it's very frustrating. And they've got this place a total mess. I've got to hopefully, hopefully, what's tomorrow, Friday? Hopefully tomorrow I will be able to... Uh, I don't want to put that in my pocket. It will break the rest of the way. I just know it. But look at this. I'm going to take some of these tomatoes in and put them in my pocket. I can do that. See them down there? I just love eating them like, like grapes. So, um, hopefully tomorrow I will be able to get out here and get something done and won't be bothered. I am... I'm almost tempted to turn my phone off because then nobody can call me and ask me to do something. Uh, my mom says she's going to come over here, but she'll want to play around in the house and work in the, in the uh, um, sewing room, seeing what she can take home. <laughs> so we'll see. I probably won't get a day tomorrow either. Uh, well, now I've got a whole pocket full. And I still have some on this side. I hate curling up my nose because my glasses can't stay on me. I need a new pair of glasses, guys. Uh, well, I'll just leave those on there. Come back out and get them tomorrow. That's the way it is with these little tomatoes. They, they give and give and give. And I'm so excited about this. Those of y'all who haven't seen all the beautiful blooms, um, let me go around here. They are actually opening. What are you doing in my herb garden, my little nemesis? Yeah, you're a troublemaker. They're starting to open. See them all? Oh, let me pull it in for you. Lay that stuff down. Oh, I broke it. She can have it. See them? They're starting to open really nicely. And I'm gonna have beautiful, beautiful fruit. Whew. Here, Ginger, you want this egg? There you go. I don't want you to eat the shell, though. Um. Uh-oh. One of them tomatoes must have been really, really ripe because it just kind of like made water in my pocket. So, uh, the uh, nasturtiums are doing well. And this is kind of drying out, but it still feels like mush, so that will not be able to be planted. The whole lot of stuff. Oh, sorry guys. I'm gonna have to move into the house and I'm gonna have to say goodbye because Mr. Payne is going to scream bloody murder because he's not getting the attention from mom. Yeah, he can't stand it that I'm talking to anyone other than him. So I did bring the chickens out today and uh, let them have their day outside. And I think mm, it looks like it's going to rain. If it rains, I'll just bring them back in the house and dry them off. 
but I can't take it. I can't take them in the house anymore. I'm just, I'm able to actually breathe now because I, um, because I actually took them outside. Now I still have three little tiny ones in there. Oh yeah, some a couple of these were too soft and busted in my pocket. Now I got a wet pocket. Oh well. Why? Why do I do this stuff to myself? Ugh. Oh well. Anyways, don't forget, y'all. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.